and welcome back to Rome as we continue to expand the Empire. In the last episode, we laid siege to Mastaya here in the southeast of Spain, and they have finally sallied forth to meet our legion, led by Quintus Max Fabius Maximus. So, starting the battle, starting with the battle rather. It is the King's Coronation today, here in the United Kingdom. So, Charles III will be anointed and made to be more kingly than he was before. Well, hang on a minute. Where are they coming across? What am I missing? You can't get through that bit. They're going to be coming out of that door. So let's get all of you to come and stand here. As well as you. And you. Get everyone in position. I wonder if they're going to have to come across this ford here. We'll just find out in a minute. Let's just get everyone in the right position. Everyone can just fire at will. I think it's probably better if we put the Triarii here. Move them round. Everyone should be running. I'm a, a bit more, a bit more purpose about you. Round and round we go. Right, when you've finished throwing your javelins, we can then charge them. them. And this is important for the growth of the Empire, this battle. This gives us a toehold on the mainland of Spain and will allow us to open up. 
got Macedonia, so it's going to open up another another place where we can start making money, and there's some serious wealth in Spain, thanks to its silver mines. It's one of the reasons that the, the Second Punic War was largely fought over Spain, from my knowledge, because Hannibal, of the elephant fame, um, managed to replace all of the wealth that the Carthaginian Empire lost purely by annexing half of Spain as quick as possible. So that's a good thing. going, that's good. Into the back of them we go. don't like chasing things as much as they should do. Which is a bit of a shame because you know they're horses. Cavalry should love chasing routing units. the general Someone else. There's a man somewhere doing something. He 
He's hiding in our own cavalry unit. Where's he gone? Oh, he's there. Look. There we go. God, I made that difficult. But we now have an entrance into the wealth that is the Spanish silver market. That's always good news. We're going to enslave. Senators, due to our encroachment into the Carthaginians, they have declared war. Okay. So we're at war with Carthage. have a look. Is the Jessica able to build stuff? Yes it is. Nice temple there. Ex expand you. Why aren't you happy? Monthly games. Capua. Something tells me that I think this man is able to have a triumph. Yeah, he's got to go back to Rome and claim his triumph. That's um, helpful. Hopefully, when we take... I think um, the plan was when we take Mediolanum in the north, the one that we've got under siege, that should trigger our reforms as well, which will be most welcome, which means we can then build better legions. I wonder if you can actually do a Testudo with them. That's like the iconic thing, and that's the thing... I suppose I'm not really sold on my Roman armies at the minute because of that. Oh, someone else is rich. Masana, thank you. I think actually it's best just to get everybody back into Rome because we have the most retrainability over here, if that's a word. Two turns till that settlement falls in the north. Yeah. And this is where they have their strength at sea. For they are the trading power, and we are not. Not a lot we can do about it. Well, 
what we would like to do is just gradually retrain our army and then drop it off in Spain. We would very much like you to be a province. ready in how many turns? Two. I wonder if we could just do that and speed up the process. You get 62, 41 plus, uh, we can't even merge them. Can't, that hasn't sped anything up at all. Um, just end the turn and it should be the sallying of the city in the north Medellanen not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly either oh Bactria from the far east let's see if we can get your map that's good they're so far away, it didn't even change that map that I've got in the bottom left-hand corner. They are so far. They're literally by the Himalayas. And it's a bizarre little Greek. It's, and it's not even made up. It's really weird. There was like an Indo-Greek colony that thrived for about 300 years. Righty-roo. What do you have as your... Oh, Arkoi. Right, where are they going to come out? They're going to come out of here. So we're just going to do the same thing and have a bit of a a bit of a mall. The Astarte are in position. Now here come the Principes. It's because they've got this little farm outside their walls. They have they're just bunched up, aren't they? They don't really have a choice. Here we go. Them around the sides, and we're gonna because this is the general here, the Arkoi. And we're going to move you like that. Which means there's not an awful lot for the horses to do.
in we go. Probably should have told them to run. You go there, you go there, you go there. In we go. Trapped like fish in a barrel. There's absolutely nothing we can do here. Um, if we run there. Oh, that's the general. Oh, he's running. He was there. That's good. I wasn't going insane then. That's not particularly useful for us. That's fighting in too short um, a width. We need them to come out a little bit. We've killed 20%. Come on, brave Romans. Push, 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 push. We can't do anything about these bloody skirmisher units. Oh, that's a worry. Some of my infantry think they're going to lose. can't get to their general. Is it the one that's running out to me? No. Yeah, general is here. What a disappointment this would be if I were to lose. a little bit further and we can charge you. I'm one of those useless Astarte of sodding routing. Just how dare you? Like, what on earth? Two of them are gone. I'm going to lose this. 
three of them have gone. Four. What a joke. for Romans. I mean, what on earth? I need you to stop routing! Stop! Just gonna chuck it all away, you idiots. We've still killed a higher percentage of their army than they have of ours. But our army has decided to run away. What on earth? We need to get our general back here. Principes are going as well. This is ridiculous. We need these. We need these reforms quite quickly. Have you gone as well? Yeah. What a joke! Absolute joke. a difference. Here we go. Can we turn the tide? What can we charge? We've charged everything. Come on, General, sort it. First thing that you need to do is sort them out. It's a mad charge by our own general trying to sort out the weak forces. Right, charging to the back of them. Mm. 
gonna turn it round, I don't know. There's, oh, there's a unit that we're just running past now. What have we got? We've got 65%. Is he the general? That's the general there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Does that do it? Does that give me the city? Oh, just about. Just about. And hopefully it's going to turn its name into Felsina. That's what we need to happen. Revolt in Demetrius. That's not us. Ah, we've got a, the ability to build a war fleet. That's very helpful. Oh, and they're now the biggest faction in the world. Carthaginians are coming to take my settlement. Mm -hmm. I think it must be that other one then. So we're going to take the army from Rome and we're going to go and besiege that 
other settlement in the north of Italy. How irritating. Uh, not yet. Right, now we can start protecting our water. That's a good start. Right, so what do we have to do? Said so Jessica, we can have that. Titus Sempronius Gracchus. That's a famous name, isn't it? I remember there being talk of, of a Gracchus. We are desperate for these reforms. Whatever we do, we've got to get to it. In fact, that's probably going to be a wise thing. We're going to siege it with both armies and then we're going to control the replenished one. And hopefully that will be enough to see us through. Unless I'm missing something. Hang on a minute. Oh, for God's sake. Is there a city? In Corinth. I don't care about that. Called... Felsina. I don't think there is. So what we're literally going to do is march up. He likes his croissant. Masana is finally a Roman province. That's good news. There's been a bit of an uprising in Sicily as well. Difficult times for the Roman Republic. Difficult times indeed. I am enjoying it more than I thought. I, like I said, I think I've said it before on this campaign. I'm very much more of a Greek. Oh, you know what? Recapita, sir! Militares! Instrumento relinquite! Tremone! Tremone! Sig Tremone! We don't want to do that. We want to do that. Oh, you're now. Uh -huh. 
Can't build any troops there either. Skodra. through with that friend but you're more than welcome to try Definitely going to need another army. We're too big for the forces that we've got. We've got three, four, three stacks, and two of them are in the same place. It's not feasible. And I think we're going to do what we've done for the last two episodes. We're going to end with a battle brewing. Unless that gentleman would like to move out of the way so I can siege Al-Babad-Jenna. No, he's... Oh. Right. Truth Anacardia. Right, let's build some things and then we're going to call it a day. We need roads. Roads are very helpful. Build stuff. What can you build? I'll have that. Great Iberian Shrine. Oh, it's a wonder of the world. I can't destroy it. What do we have left? Nothing much. We're going to have to... Find a way around that. Um, so, that's going to conclude today's episode. I thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. And until we meet again, do take care of yourselves. Goodbye for now.